Who gives this bride away? You may be seated. This is an occasion that was marked by God since the beginning. Mm. It is honorable. It is holy. It is anointed by the Spirit of God. And we are honored to stand here with the two of you today Oliver McKinney III and Stephanie Guthrie as you join hands in holy matrimony. Oliver, you are going to be the house band to your wife. And as you build a family, priest, provider, and protector. And Stephanie, you stand by your husband's side as his health meet not in an inferior position, but with two who stand in the stead of God Almighty. Amen. And so we are honored to stand here with you today with a host of loved ones and friends who support you and who hold you up. Emulate the character of Jesus Christ in every sense of the word, and you will not fail. Your marriage will be successful in every sense of the word. And with that being said, we say God bless you. Because before this day is out, you will be husband and wife. <laughs> Amen. That's all right.
Would you join me in bowing your heads? Worthy God Almighty, it is always a privilege to come to you. But on occasions such as this, there is an extra sense of joy as we celebrate the union of two individuals you brought together mm -hmm. and so that they as in Genesis 2.24 could join together and be one. Order their steps in your word. Enlarge their territory and bless the things that they lay hands to as together they emulate the character of Jesus Christ and your relationship to the world as they hold each other up, as they restore each other, as they fortify one another in you. Give them the strength of heaven on their side. In your worthy name we do pray. Amen. 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 At this time, I want to invite you to step closer. And you may face each other. But this is the time where your expressions of love are fit. And we give you that opportunity to do so now. Which one of you are going to go first? All right. <coughs> Stephanie, first I would like to say I thank God for you. <clears throat> Stephanie, I pledge to love you and honor you with all that I have in me. I promise to seek God always on how to lead our household. Babe, I thank God every day for placing you in my life. As we begin this marriage journey, I promise to always be a listening ear, your go-to when you're happy or sad, and your best friend. Babe, we are here. This is our day. <laughs> this is the day we both prayed about. So as we say I do, just know that I do love you. And I thank God for this journey that he has placed us both on. Stephanie Guthrie take you, Oliver James McKinney III, to be my husband, to love unconditionally. I promise to have and to hold, to love and to care, for you to be there for you in the good times and the bad, to be your confidant, your lover, and your best friend, and to always cover you in prayer as we take this journey together. And at times when I may not know what to do, I will look to God and ask him to help me love you the way he loves you. I started this journey about 15 years ago with just the thought of you. I had enough radical faith to believe that God could bring me exactly what I needed when the time was right. I wanted to walk the path of purity and I did not know how that looked. See, I hadn't always done everything right. I live most, like most people, having a form of godliness but denying the power that comes with it. I remember the night distinctly asking God to help me live my life for him and to change me completely. And I pray for a man of God that will love me the way Christ loves me. Yeah. And it would be apparent for the world to see who is willing to walk this path of faith with me from earth to heaven. Mm -hmm. The path that God carved to lead me to you was hard and difficult, but anything worth having is worth fighting for. Yeah, amen. What I thought would be easy was hard. What I thought would bless others would bless me. What I thought I wanted was actually what I needed. See, the path that God leads you is where you didn't plan to go to producing you what you could not achieve on your own. I remember the sleepless nights, the tears of wondering if God would answer my aching heart's desire. I remember the men who walked away from me because they chose not to wait. I'm not 
have to do things to make God. I had to try them to me. I remember feeling frustrated, inadequate, and times angry because I did not understand why the wait was so long. I remember contemplating my work until God showed me that no matter who he brought me, my worth will always be in him. Amen. Amen. Then you came along into my life, and it made sense why no other relationship worked out. Mm. Because we are perfectly imperfect, a match made in heaven. Your patience with me initially is what drew me to you. Your love for me is what kept me, and your heart for God is what inspires me. The way you fit into my life is like you were never missing. And I'm so very grateful that God gave me you and you me. You came at a time when I was not looking, but the love that you had shown me made me desire you as the help me that I had been waiting for. At times when our journey was difficult and my faith was weak, your faith in God was strong. You continued to believe and pointed me to Christ through your continued faithfulness. When things got rough, you handled the pressure with grace as God was shaping our characters to reflect to the world all of his goodness and love, if we would just believe. I love, respect, and appreciate the man that you are. Everything you have ever given me was genuine and unconditional. I am more trusting, more loving, and more giving because of you. I am more faithful, more vulnerable, more fearless because of you. So as everyone looks at me today, I will be looking at you. Because as I see you, I see Christ and his reflection in you shines like the star that you truly are. Amen. So I want to leave you with this thought. I'm sure it's you. Mm. When I saw God use you to reach me, I'm sure it's you. When he told me that you were the other whole to complete me, mm. I'm sure it's you because of the way you handled me. Mm. I'm sure it's you because of the way you challenged me. I'm sure it's you because of faith have moved mountains. I'm sure it's you because the heights we've reached amaze me. I'm sure it's you because you were created especially for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's you because you're the one he kept for me. Amen. 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 Oliver and Stephanie, your words today are sealed in heaven. And so allow me to encourage you with more words from scripture. I often tell people that the word of God, the Bible is a book full of formulas for success. And when you follow biblical formulas, the word of God will not fail you. Amen. It will accomplish the thing whereunto God sends it. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5 through 7 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. When you do this, you will not fail. Amen. And what has been said here today will plant fruit in full season and God will bless you abundantly. Amen. I'm going to invite you now to hold each other's hands. And I may need some assistance from you, Pastor, with the microphone as we draw close to you. Now, so, so that we can be correct here, we're going to invite you to kneel during the dedication prayer, okay? I turn to you, Oliver McKinney III. You have expressed your love and your commitment to Stephanie Guthrie. And so do you, Oliver McKinney III, take Stephanie Guthrie to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and to cherish, to treat like Jesus treats the church, to hold up, to strengthen, and to walk through life side by side 
being the house band that God has called you to, being the priest, provider, and protector of your family, emulating the character of Jesus Christ. Is that your desire? Say, I do. I do. Praise God. <laughs> Stephanie Guthrie, God has called you to be Oliver's help meet, to be the one who when life beats him up, he can come home and find the love and the nurture and the nourishing he will need to rebuild and to enter into the world again and again, knowing that he has a sanctuary to come home to and a beautiful wife to embrace him with all your love. It is your desire to stand tall by the side of your husband to be the virtuous woman that God designed you to be, to walk with the character of Jesus Christ under the anointing of his Holy Spirit. And as you do so, grow in the grace of God together until death do you part. Is that that's your desire? Say, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's, that's an emphasis on that I do. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Friends and loved ones, you have witnessed the exchange of vows, a covenant commitment made by Oliver McKinney III and Stephanie Guthrie. So I am honored with the authority invested in me to now pronounce Oliver McKinney III <laughs> and Stephanie Guthrie. Husband and wife. <laughs> Oliver, you have a blessed moment right now. You may salute your bride. <laughs> Amen. It's, it's legal, y'all. <laughs> to God be the glory. We now invite you to proceed in the lighting of the unity candles.
Father and our God, we're grateful for the union of these two lives together today. We lift up Stephanie and OJ before you today, recognizing that they have placed their lives in your hand. They have placed their hearts in each other's hearts and hands. And Father, today we ask a special blessing upon this new family, this union that you have brought together. Only God in his mercy could bring hearts together, intertwine them, and allow them to be so in love with one another that they will go forward with the joy of the Lord in their hearts. So as they prepare their life together from this day forward, allow your grace, allow your power to be manifested in every area of their life. May their love for one another intensify even more than they can imagine. And may they recognize, Father God, that what God has joined together no one can tear asunder because God is greater than any enemy on the outside. So keep them, we pray, Father God. May their love and joy be a blessing not only to one another, but may their relationship be a blessing to all those they come in contact with. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are honored today to congratulate you, for you are now husband and wife, mm -hmm. with all the rights and privileges. <laughs> so God bless you, and I do believe that the best is yet to come. Amen. Your latter will be greater yes. than your former. Mm -hmm. I invite you to turn and face your loved ones and your supporters today. <laughs> it is our honor, Pastor Long and myself, to present to you on this day, Mr. Oliver McKinney III and Mrs. Stephanie McKinney, mm -hmm. husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell by the way you smile. <laughs> They, they hook, man. <laughs> Survive. 